In this example, we want to find the interval convergence for the uh, series. Okay. So to do this, again, we need to apply the ratio test. Okay, so uh, we need the nth term and the nth plus one term. So the nth term for this series is x to the n over n squared. And the nth plus one term is x to the n plus one all over n plus one squared. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth plus one term. divided by the nth term. So go ahead and take the reciprocal. Okay, so we have n squared up here and then x to the n in the denominator. Okay, so this is equivalent to Okay, so we can rewrite this. Right, This is going to be the same as x to the n plus 1 all over x to the n times n squared all over n plus 1 squared. Okay. Alright, so this is going to leave us with the limit as n approaches infinity. Okay. Of, so we have x to the n plus 1 over x to the n. Okay, so just like before, that's going to leave us with x. Okay. And then we have n squared over n plus 1 squared. Okay, so we can take out the absolute value of x. So that's going to give us, uh, well, we have absolute value of x times the limit of n squared over n plus 1 squared. Okay. So the limit of this, okay, we have n squared on top, and on the bottom we have n squared plus 2n plus, plus 1. Okay, so again, think of this as a, if we think of this in terms of x as a function, of, or as a function of x. So we have x squared over uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. All right, so something like, so we have x squared over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that is a rational function. So this, and this is, when you take the limit of this, as x goes to infinity, this is going to go to 1. So therefore, this limit is going to approach 1, okay? All right, because remember, this is going to be horizontal, asymptote, you have a horizontal asymptote at, uh, of y equals to 1, okay? So that means this, Okay, so that means this is going to approach 1 as n approaches infinity. Okay, so from here, okay, we want to find x. We want to find the value of x here that's strictly less than 1. Okay, because that's the convergence value. That's the, for the ratio test, if something is less than 1, right, that's going to converge. Okay, so this implies that we have minus 1, x, or x is between minus 1 and 1. Okay. Okay, so we need to um, check our endpoints here. Okay. All right, so, so basically, um, this is what we have. Okay, this is, say this is our number line. Uh, this is a Maclaurin series. Okay, so it's expanding about zero. So we have minus one here and one. So the radius, the radius of convergence is equal to one. Okay, so we need to check the endpoints. So we're going to let x be equal to 1. So we're going to plug that back into the original series. Okay, so we're going to get the summation. OK, 
okay, of 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared. Okay, so 1 over n squared, this is a p series. Okay. All right, that converges. It's a p series with p equals 1, that conver and it converges. Or p equals 2, not 1. Sorry, p equals to 2. And it converges. Okay. Because p is strictly bigger than 1. Okay. All right. Okay, so now let's check what happens at x equals to negative 1. So plugging in minus 1 for x, we're going to get minus 1 to the n over n squared. Okay. So what we can do here, okay, um, we can use the fact that if if we take the absolute value and if that converges then the original one converges okay so we can use that test here okay so since okay so if we take the absolute value this is going to give us 1 over n squared, okay, and we just, right, and we just show that this converges, okay, it's a p-series. So since this converges, then that means the original series of minus 1 to the n over n squared also converges. So it turns out that this series converges at both endpoints. Okay. Okay, that's x to the n over n squared from and going from one to infinity. So this series converges. Okay. On. Okay, so it's converging at both endpoints. So it converges between the values of negative 1 and 1, where minus 1 and 1 um, is included. Okay, and the radius of convergence is 1. Okay. 